What just happened? I'm Dan. That's Julia. And that's Bagface down there. And today we're talking episode eight of Sugar, the finale called Farewell. And I'm just going to start off with this. I love this show. I absolutely love this show. And I think it got better every week. Obviously, episode six was probably the best because of the reveal, in my opinion. I'm very happy that the end, and we'll talk about it when we get to it, but the end surely implies that there's going to be a season two. Woo! So let's hope they don't cancel it like they canceled Constellation and we get a season two. The chase for Henry. I want the answers on Jen. I want all of that. So like, I'm super excited to see what could come and and where we could go. So let us know in the comments. Do you want a season two? Let's make sure Apple hears us that, that we want it. All right. Agreed. Get on social media. Get on social media and tweet at them. Let's not let this show get canceled. Because if you have Colin Farrell... And he's willing to say it. Backface was saying pre-show. If you got someone like that that's willing to do a oh, season two of the show, make it happen, man. Yeah. Any calling it he now. Just, he, he was brilliant in this role. All right. So it kicks off with he found Olivia. So I was right. I'm very happy that I was right about that. She was there and she's alive. And he says the nightmare is over. Three words. I found her. Three words. I found her. That was a really cool reveal. Were you guys cool with that? That he found her and we got that answer right away? Yeah. Yes. Mostly because of how it ends. I was yeah. kind of afraid that finding her would be like the wrap up. Now, I'm I'm going to mention a couple things that the commenters have been saying. We didn't get to do theory videos, uh, but I have to shout you guys out. You've been so good in the comments. I, I read every single one of them. So many good theories for this show. You guys were killing it. A lot of people were on the side of Jen possibly being olivia in like a different form maybe she i transformed her yeah. age. a lot of people were saying that and they were also saying a lot about henry suspecting that he was involved which you're right he was involved so well done like, i didn't i didn't see that i feel like i should have known because the first time they really like showed a close-up of his face i was like this dude gives me the creeps yeah, well, did you watch Ozark? No, I actually didn't watch Ozark. He, so he his character in Ozark was nuts. Like, yeah. You couldn't take your eyes off the screen. He was so good in that show. Oh, That's another reason why I want season two. You're teeing up something with him and with Sugar and possibly finding Jen. So it's like, it's it's awesome. It's it's right there for you. Let's do it. Let's make it. I think this and, was the first time we heard that Jen wasn't dead either. Because kind of possibly for the, not dead. I think the whole season. Well, they didn't confirm it, did they? No, but I, I assumed when Sugar spoke about Jen through the whole season, he knew that she was dead, but he only yeah. knows that she's missing. I think this was the first time where he actually confirms she's not for sure dead, but is just yeah. missing. It's perfect. It's set up for season two, and I really want it. So then Melanie gets the call, and I'm happy she didn't have any nefarious things behind her yeah. because, you know, they kind of gave us that little red herring early in the season when she went to see Bernie or like, oh, what is she really up to type of thing? She will, had no evil to her at all. She really wanted Olivia to be found and she was a really good partner for Sugar all along. So she gets the call. She's there when she wakes up. They hug, they embrace and, you know, they're very happy to see each other. Obviously, Olivia is very shaken up in this scene, but, you know, she's just very relieved to be found at this point. And Sugar says he's glad the case is over, but not completely over. He grabs disc 44, he wants to listen to it. Says he needs to turn over the last rock, but needs to hurry. All of them do. I know, I know. I'm obsessing. But that's what PIs do. Because they're supposed to leave. And then Miller gets pulled over by a cop for a fender on a, some shit that, that was falling in the back of his car. And this cop fucking kills him. I think I might have hit the curb. <laughs> so like, what the hell? What was that? Was that the senator? hit called that hit or some shit definitely uh, yeah that's, yeah that's what i'm thinking yeah that's pavik pavik did that that was wild man i didn't see that coming at all i didn't know where that scene was going but i didn't see that coming at all yeah no i, really I didn't. didn't so miller's dead and that's crazy ruby says henry is being stubborn like i said lots of people in the comments didn't trust him well done sugar goes in to see him he wants a disc player, which I was very surprised to see this was a CD and not a video yeah. disc. I yeah. thought it would be a video disc. For yeah. Sure. But H Henry's like being weird about why he wants it. He's like, I, you know, you found her. What are you, what are you doing? It's about the case, isn't it? I thought it was over. Right. He's, like, he's curious about what he wants to find out. And Sugar's like, well, it's just something doesn't feel right. I just have to check one last thing. He's a very thorough guy. 
He has been all along this whole season. So that's how he's being with this. And Henry's being weird. And at this point, I'm remembering what the people commented. And I'm like, you know what? They're probably right. Because why else would Henry be acting like this in this moment right now? And were you guys on the same page in that in that part? Yeah. You, you're like, oh, he's probably involved. Type of thing. Yeah, it, it was definitely sketchy. It's like, why do you care so much? You know, he gets in his car, he starts listening to the CD, and it's Ryan torturing someone. Actually, he he kills this person, whoever victim 44 was. He hits her in the head with a hammer and kills her. And Sugar gets kind of shaken up, stops it, but he listens and stops it throughout the episode. And I think it's cool how they did that to yeah. give us little bits of info. And they showed us the video of what was happening in the moment when he was talking into the recorder. I think it was very well done, very well shot, very well directed. I mean, this the show's awesome. I, I've seen like a couple all around. people. I've seen a couple people in the comments that didn't like the reveal of the alien and a couple negative comments, but all around people have been very, very supportive of the show, which that's yeah, where I like am. even even writing aside, like you said, like the directing, the camera work, Colin Farrell himself, like just brilliant. So good all around. Really good. So Sugar's next stop is the Seagulls. Henry made a comment to him about having rose petals at his feet from the Seagulls and the rose petals come into play later. So he goes in to see the Seagulls. He stops to talk to Margit, the mother of Davy. She says, what was it about you? You know, why were you so into the case? He's like, I told you. No, I wanted to find Olivia. I told you that. And then Davey gets brought up and he, first he mentions how Davey put his sister in danger and how that's kind of like unforgivable. The girl that your son put in danger, his own sister. Sees the reaction from Margit and then he kind of pulls back and goes, but I did watch Boy in the Corner. He was, he was really good. And my condolences to you. It seems like they left at a good point those two. Him with the seagulls all around actually, they all left on a good point. So then he goes to see Jonathan Jonathan offers him a job, head of security for the entire company. But at this point in his mind, he's like, well, I got to go home. So I got to have to turn this down. He sees Olivia talking with Bernie, asks if Olivia said something about her time in the torture chamber. She didn't say shit. And then he brings up Cliff disappearing. And he's like, I know that was you. You made that body disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and Jonathan's kind of like, oh, let's just not talk about it type of thing. Like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 Deniability. Sugar just like reassures yeah. him right away too. He's like, "Don't, just don't say anything about it." Well, don't, what please, no, 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 don't, don't say anything. <laughs> like, I don't need to yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was cool. Also, how they tied up that loose end. Like, pretty much everything was tied up in this episode. It was a really great finale, and including the Polaroids of Rachel K. You know, he gives the Polaroids of Rachel K. And he's I like, "Hey, loved the way he did that." Yeah, yeah. He's like, "Hey, I know, I know you took these photos. I, I was in the room. I saw the dress in the movie that your wife was wearing." I put it together when I saw the dress in your room and I saw the exact spot you took the photo. So I put it together. Do you yeah. think he's Olivia's father? Yeah. 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 I yeah. So yeah, I do. Yeah. 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 And because I think he I'm, knows he's Olivia's father and that's why he was so held in on finding her. So he was like, yeah, I was drawn to her, but we cut it off. And then that's when it gets brought up like, oh, well, are you saying uh, I'm the father? And he's like, yeah, we don't have to talk about that. What's important is that she's loved. And then Jonathan says grace and sensitivity to the end. He's very happy with sugar that he found Olivia. He delivered on his promise and he exits for now. He comes back. He comes back later to talk to him some more. And he's having flashes of his home world. I thought they were so cool. Seeing. So sick. Yeah. Did you guys yeah. like that? Yeah, it was so cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you see him with Jen and you see what their world looks like. Yeah. Like those things flying in the sky. And we see shots of like birds flying in the sky and like mm -hmm. then whatever that stuff is in his home world flying in the sky. So dope. I love it. Then Ruby calls, asks if he's heard from Miller. He says no, keeps listening to the tape. And Ryan's a sick fuck, man. I could do anything, but I'm doing this. I don't question it anymore. That dude was unhinged. Yeah. Unhinged. Yeah. Melanie's going to take Wiley. <laughs> Are you sure about this? He kind of eats his body weight in pork chops. Oh, we are so sure. Which I'm a dog person, so I'm very happy to see that Wiley's going to a safe home. And she Me makes too. him come in to say goodbye, asks him if he's leaving and never returning. And he's kind of like, it's going to be a long trip, but never say never type of thing. And then he's having more flashes of his home world. And then she asks about Jen. And then he tells her. She was taken by somebody a long time ago. That's actually why I do what I do. That's why I'm a PI, because my sister was taken from me, was never found. So I want to help people find their loved ones. And that's why I do what I'll do. And I think that's why he's so good at his job. So before they say their goodbyes, you can tell with his inner monologue, you can tell that he really wants to tell her that he's an alien, right? So he's like, take my hands. And his eyes glow bright blue, just like they do 
at the end of the intro credits with Backface pointed out last week, which I watched this time. Really cool transition how they did that and really cool shot to see his eyes turn blue. He told her, basically. I'm, I'm sure she gets it, right? Oh, I don't know. If you had no you know? backstory and someone just took your hands and their eyes turned like neon blue, uh, there'd well, be so many guesses in my in my brain <laughs> as to I what was that was. I the impression that he somehow like telepathically communicated all of that stuff to her. That. I was kind of getting that vibe too, but I, like, I the way quite she tell. was like, staring into his eyes, it felt like they were like connected. It was it was a it was a cool scene though, and you know, yeah, and then he's like, I, I, "I'm never supposed to show any human that," and I'm glad I did it with Melanie, and I I just thought that was really cool, and you know, he doesn't need to take his drug to show some sign that he's not human, so that was cool to see, and really well shot. So then, Ruby calls him again and says they're being hunted. I don't think she knows about Miller at this point. But she probably put it together that he's not answering and he's not showing up. So, like, there's something fishy going on type of deal, right? Yeah, I wonder if someone else was also killed, maybe, and she knows about someone else. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Could be, so, yeah. So, tells him to be careful, and then he pulls over, and he keeps listening. And then there's a certain part that he rewinds over and over and over again. Don't you agree? Don't you agree? He keeps listening to it. Why would he say that to a dead person is what's going on in Sugar's mind. So he's like, shit, there's someone else there. And he immediately goes back to Jonathan's and he wants to talk to Olivia. Jonathan's kind of like, well, you got to ask her father, which is funny because you're her father, Jonathan. You little, you little, what am I trying to say? <laughs> tiger. <laughs> <laughs> you little tiger. <laughs> you, we know you're the dad. But Bernie's cool about it. He's like, you can ask what she says is up to her. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to force her to say anything. Oh, kitty cat. And then they talk and he's like, hey, I'm John Trigger. She's like, I know who you are. You fucking saved me. Obviously, I know who you are. And he's like, was he alone? And she says, no, there was someone else there. And he shows a picture of Pavic, the senator first. Like, was it him? And she's like, I don't know. I never saw the guy. I never heard the guy talk. There was a light in my face. They kept a light on my face. I, I, I couldn't really see clearly, even if. I were to get a good look at the person, maybe I wouldn't even recognize them type of deal. And she's like, you know, I, I don't know if that was him. I'm sorry. He's like, well, how do you know there was someone else there? She's like, because I could hear him writing. And we know that's Henry's deal. So I wrote in my notes, fucking Henry. God damn. <laughs> yeah. As soon as she said that, I was like, oh, oh, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I could hear him writing. Writing. Yeah. He just took notes. Yeah. Because like we saw Henry writing earlier in the episode. You at the, like that's telling the audience that it's Henry at that point. So I'm like, God damn it. I, I hope that's helpful. I don't know. Yes, it is. He's piecing together things that Henry said to him and things that he heard on the recording. And they're like identical. So like, it seems like Henry got some of his lingo from Ryan and we know Henry, he's like an academic that's always trying to learn. So he's always picking up new things from, from people. I've seen a thing. I was just seeing this thing and feeling like I just had to have it. I just feel like, oh my God, I have me. And Backface, you brought up the line last week, how he said he's, they're always becoming more and more human. Yeah. So that was an, also like a tell. And th that's what some of the commenters picked up. They were like, why Why would he say that? Uh -huh. And I don't yeah, trust him yeah. because of that. Yeah. So that's how the commenters kind of put it together. Oh, so That's interesting. I didn't think about that. Then he gets to where he was supposed to pick up Henry. Henry calls and he says, So now you know. Not hiding it. He he knew as soon as Sugar started listening to the tapes that he would put it together. And he's like, I didn't kill anyone. I just sat there and I learned. How else would I learn? And like, it's a really weird way to look at it, but <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're into, dude. I mean, whatever. He's, he's an alien and he's got that academic mind and he wanted to learn from a serial killer. So, hey, whatever. And that's what he was doing. And he says he's not leaving, that he belongs here. And so do you, John. I belong here. So do you. That was kind of the first sign of me. Oh, we're getting to season two. And he says, hey. I left you rose petals. They hang up. Whoa. Oh. Henry I hangs know. up on him. Oh. Yep. The rose petals are on the floor in front of a closet. Opens the closet. And it's fucking Jen's like wardrobe dress. Wardrobe dress. Is that a word? Dress. Dress. I mean, both are words. They're just not usually put together like that. It's it's like her, her dress from her home world that she was wearing in the flashbacks. That's crazy. He's like, shit, Henry took Jen. Now he wonders if she's alive. Jen, is she alive? Is she here? And like back they said, this is like the first time that in his mind that she could possibly be alive. And he says, 
Henry is trapped in a circle of violence, but he wonders if he's any different. And we see flashes of all the damage he did throughout the season, fucking people up because he can definitely do that. He can always hold his own. He says he likes being here. He likes all the senses, you know, touch, smell, feel, all that stuff. And he wonders, have I become more human like Henry? And then I love this little scene with the little girl on the beach where she says, Well, I wouldn't go any further if I were you. They're sharks. Smart girl. People don't swim in the ocean. There's sharks in there. That's my biggest fear. My biggest fear. Don't swim in the ocean. I'll never be killed by a shark. You know why? Because I'm never going to let myself be in that position for that to happen. You know, I feel like now the universe is going to find a way. <laughs> I'll, I'll crash in a plane and then get, get killed by a shark. Yeah. So you'll like, crash into a truck that just happens to be like transporting a shark to a different aquarium. <laughs> oh, God damn it. So he's like, hey, I got to find Henry Thorpe. No matter how long it takes, I'm going to find him. And God damn it, I know you will, sugar. I know you will. Season two, bring it on. He shows up to Ruby. She says Pavic was Henry's idea, but they all went along with it. So they knew all along where Olivia was. But she was like, it was for the mission. I had no idea about Jen. So at this point, she had learned that Henry took Jen. And he, she knows that Sugar took it. And he believes her. Jen, I had no idea. I know. I know. And I believe her, too. Do you guys believe her? Yeah. 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 I yeah. do. I do. I'm like satisfied that like I was right and feeling a little sketchy about her. Yeah. But I'm also happy that it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. There were some things that she was definitely being sketchy and lying about, but it wasn't right. it wasn't the big one, which was also yeah. a big common theme in the comments that people were, were, were wondering if she was hiding secrets because of Jen. And it wasn't because of Jen, which is which is cool. So Ruby, cool. Sucks that you lied about where Olivia was the whole time and you knew the entire time. So then in the distance, this kind of confused me. I need your guys feedback for this. It looks like like a, a portal opened or something like that. And then the UFO took off. Is that what it was? Because she was like, this is the last one leaving after that. So that was someone taking off to the homeland, right? Yeah. That's what that was? Yeah. In the distance? So. Yeah, okay. yeah. So she's like, other than Henry, everybody, everybody left. She says, it's, it's just a dress. Hold on, likely she's already dead. Probably. And he says, yeah, but Henry's still here. But Henry's alive and he's here and we brought him here. He says he loves his home. He'll miss his home. He'll miss Ruby, but I'm staying. I'm not going. I got shit to handle. That's what he says. And then he says goodbye to Ruby. And then he drives off in his car and says goodbye to the audience. But sooner or later, when the lights come on, put on your jacket. It's time to go home. So I thought that was really cool how he brought up like how movies end and everything has to end at some point. And yeah. he was basically saying like that's the way i took it he was telling the audience well it's ending i'll see you next season that's the way i took it so, <laughs> yeah really cool i loved it man i absolutely loved it what'd you guys think i thought it was incredible i think the reveal of henry taking jen is to me is a better reveal than him being an alien like him being oh, an really? alien i was like yeah that that's sweet i've been itching to know but then like i don't know you're it, like really yeah henry my man henry it's cool yeah. how Not they because he always gave me the creeps, but like, <laughs> like you're supposed to be Sugar's homeboy. It's cool how they like weave the two storylines together so perfectly throughout. Where yeah. I really wanted the conclusion of Olivia, but it always felt like that wasn't the, the thing the that I wanted point. the most. Yeah. yeah. They they yeah, really sure. had this over like and he keep, they keep mentioning the sister over and over again throughout the season so you know it's gonna play in in some way but you don't know how and I think I eventually found that more enticing as a plot point than I did him actually finding Olivia by yeah. this episode I was like cool. I'm happy they just got Olivia out of the way at the start of the episode and it's like yeah, okay Olivia too. Olivia's yeah. good and then you get like the actual it, well, it feels... and because you know like if they're doing that within the first five minutes of the episode like there's gonna be some shit coming yeah like. Yeah, it, it felt like they got to the point of the show, like they got to the the main purpose of this show by the end of this episode, which is so cool. I don't. It, it just takes a different turn where you could see how next season Sugar can still be Sugar because he's looking for Henry, but it's gonna be such a different vibe than him like looking for oh, yeah. Olivia. Yeah, I. Well, and especially now that we know that there are like humans that know. Yeah, yeah, they're and they're being hunted. We and saw yeah, that. yeah, they're gonna be hunting Sugar still, right? Because he's yeah, still kicking yeah, around. for sure, yeah. yeah. Oh, so really cool. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the Seagulls will be involved for next year, for next season, if it happens. Do you think we'll see more Seagulls? I feel like maybe like a little cameo, like a little. Yeah, possibly. A side, a de definitely uh, Melanie and uh, I mean, I Wiley. Could yeah. use, I could see yeah. him using them as some kind of like resource for yeah. something. But great. I don't know that they're going to be like a main plot point. Well, listen, guys, the party doesn't have to stop here. Thank you so much for watching us this entire season. This has been so much fun. We're covering Dark Matter right now. 
we're doing the boys in June. We're doing only murders in the building in August, and we're doing severance at some point this year. And if there's a show that you'd like us to cover, let us know in the comments. And also, penguin, you want to give away penguin? Yeah, let us know. <laughs> one person type penguin, and we'll do it. Just one. And you know, we're doing a giveaway. Once we hit four thousand subscribers, we're giving away fifty bucks on Venmo, and you can have one item from our merch store, whatever you want. You're gonna have to follow us along for our next show because unless we go wild here and we hit it for this episode which we can do if you're watching it right now just subscribe just do it why not if you want to throw a like whatever but this has been so much fun thank you guys so much leave your theories for season two we could always do a follow-up video on those comments on what people want from season two we could always do that if you want one more sugar video i'm down to talk about the show for another video I think these two would also feel the same. This, yeah. This is, a, this is a great show. So why not talk about it one more time? But yeah, thanks so much for listening all along. If you want to hop over and watch us on Dark Matter, we'll see you there. If you want to wait till the boys, we'll see you there. Only Murders in the Building, we'll be here. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Later. Bye, guys. The less the police are involved, the better. I agree. So you deserve rose petal. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? That just happened. <laughs>